Quillard loses another trusted hand as Martin Koichuk announces he won't run again. The former hack prof, who juggled two contentious portfolios, said he wants to spend more time with his family. Martin Koichuk, who led the Liberal government's response to last year's flooding and passed a series of major municipal reforms, announced Friday he won't run in October's provincial election. Koichuk is among the most trusted figures in Premier Philippe Kowalard's cabinet. He is currently both Minister of Public Security and Municipal Affairs, as well as the minister responsible for the Montreal region. Before that he served as President of the Treasury Board an influential, if thankless, position in which he was responsible for many of the cost-cutting measures that characterized the first years of Kowalard's term in office. Koichuk is the third member of Kowalard's cabinet to announce his departure in the lead-up to the election. At least nine other Liberal MNAs have also said they won't be running though the Liberals are being edged out by the coalition of Venir Quebec in most opinion polls, Koichuk insisted his party's uncertain fortunes had no role to play in his decision. It's a question of the kind of life I want to live personally, and the kind of life I want to impose, or not, on my family, Koichuk, 56, said a news conference in Montreal, his wife, Monica Navarro, at his side. A trusted hand in crisis earlier on Friday, Quillard acknowledged that Koichuk played a central role in his government. His role in the return to a balanced budget was important, Quillard said. But I think what will go down in history is the profound transformation that he brought about in the relationship between the Quebec government and municipalities. Last year, Koichuk passed separate pieces of legislation that granted more power to Montreal and Quebec City, as well to local governments across the province. But Koichuk's value to Quillard was equally in his ability to handle crises in a serene manner. He was among those called to account for the province's inability to clear Highway 13 during a freak snowstorm in March 2017. Hundreds were trapped in their cars overnight because of a communication breakdown between authorities. Koichuk moved swiftly to bring about changes including a 24-hour road surveillance office which he said would prevent a similar incident from recurring. As public security minister, Koichuk was called to deal with scandals involving the province's anti-corruption unit and the Montreal Police Service. He took the unprecedented move in December of suspending then-SPVM Chief Philippe Pichette, following a damning report into the force's internal affairs division. When flooding forced thousands of people from their homes in western Quebec last year, Koichuk donned rubber boots and waded into the waters to meet with affected residents his ministry, though, has been roundly criticized for delays in getting aid to victims, some of whom remain in temporary shelter one year later. It was a major crisis. It was a crisis that mobilized me as a minister for more than a year, Koichuk said Friday. Since the flooding, he said, the government has increased its financial help for victims and updated its emergency protocols. What's next? Koichuk, who holds a PhD in international economics, was first elected in the Nelligan riding in the West Island in 2014. He was part of a trio of economic experts, along with Jacques Deost and Carlos Leitao, brought in by Quillard to boost the party's chances in that election. Before entering politics, Koichuk taught economics and international business at HEC Montreal for 20 years. He also worked briefly for the Bank of Canada. My game plan is to do something else other than politics, but I don't know what that is yet, he said Friday.